Hello there, welcome to episode 8 of my Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 playthrough. Today we'll continue the story, so let's jump in. And head straight to the Time Nest. Because we got some time patrolling to do. Yes, we do. <laughs> we gotta save the timelines. Or else everything goes to hell. People of Canton City, have you been to the Hero Coliseum yet? There you can enjoy explosive figure battles using the state of the art battle simulator. You've got all kinds of hero figures at your disposal, and you can use and combine them in any way you see fit. The number of combinations is unreal! Mix and match oh, shut up, to create your own ultimate team! So, how did you feel meeting such a legend? <laughs> it's pretty amazing, don't you think? you still got much room to grow, but you're right up there. Don't ever sell yourself short. I mentioned this before, but there is still much to be done. Please set out and deal with the remaining changes to history. Okay, good luck out there. Head on over to the time vault to get started. Another change in history, is it? Those two will have a hard time getting away with both Dodoria and Zarbon after them. You'll just have to help them out. Go do what you have to. Hey, 762. Solar flare! My eye! My eye! Thought you could get away, huh? Freezer's aid, Zarbon and Dodoria. That was a short and sweet mission. Oh, right, was he rank for that? Some power. Untouchable. It's like you don't have any limits. I don't have limits, Krillin. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> oh, it's Vegeta. And the Dodia. They found each other quickly. It looks like Gohan has gotten away from Dodoria. So, in the end, history will continue as normal. Shouldn't you be coming back home? Hmm? 
Lord Slug, the Wicked Namekian. You may be a time patroller, but you'll never survive my boundless carry. Avoid the universe. It's the Wicked Namekian. <laughs> That's just a small taste of my power. <laughs> I'm on my way to your location. Hang in there just a little while. Yeah. Please hurry, Chuck. Don't call the sun. Huh. Lucky you. Hey, you coward. Some power! It's like you don't have any limits! Oh, another Z rank, another level up. Nice. Let's return to the time nest. So we actually get a lot more attribute points per level up in this game compared to the first one. Oh. Careful, Vegeta! The Doria in pursuit. Hey Vegeta, remember me? I kicked your ass on Earth. What would Earthling be doing here? Did you hit your head or something? None of that matters anyway! So I vote you right now! Go ahead, I did. Yeah. We Saiyans grow stronger every- <laughs> Training's really paying off, so keep at it. Alright, oh, we ain't got a B rank. Disappointing. Hello, Babs. Vegeta is afraid of Saiyan potential. My potential. But who was that, anyway? You don't remember me, Vegeta? I was there with, with Goku. Oh, well, you know, Kakarot. We kicked your ass on Earth, you know? You don't remember? Ah, oh, that's good. You're not meant to remember me. I wasn't there. Good work out there. Time has returned to its natural course. We did some research and found that the pair manipulating history are some pretty serious criminals. 
Turles is one of the last remaining Saiyans. He leads the Crusher Corps in their devilry. Slug leads an army of demons and has conquered a number of planets. Those two. Goku defeated them both in different histories. I'd say they're probably out seeking revenge. So basically, Turles is a discount Vegeta and Slug is basically just the more powerful version of Piccolo because that's exactly what Piccolo did in the original Dragon Ball series. Trunks has been after them but hasn't been able to catch them quite yet. There must be some way we can stop them. Right. We have to think. But, I have other things to do. You go ahead and work that out. Hey, were you even listening? We're supposed to be working together. Yeah, I know. But I'm really busy, okay? Toki Toki is going to lay an egg soon. So I have to make sure everything is ready for when it arrives. Oh, how about that? Congratulations, then. Toki Toki is a divine bird that manipulates time. His eggs hold the time for a brand new universe. To put it simply, Toki Toki's eggs have the power to create time itself. That's why making sure Toki Toki produces healthy eggs is so important. It's one of the many duties of the Supreme Kai of Time. Ha <laughs> ha To think, I'll actually get to see the start of a new history. So anyway, I've got to go now. Oh wait, we still don't have a plan. We'll just have to give them a pounding the next time they fool with history, right? Well, I suppose, but... Yeesh. Looks like brute force is all we've got. We've both got it rough. Just do your best. Ah, oh, so Supreme Kai Time's got a lot on the plate right now, making sure that Toki Toki lays an egg. Sorting out the timelines, no wonder the Elder Kai is here. Oh, single lobby and multi lobby. When in online mode, you can cooperate with other players in parallel quests or test each other's skill in battle. You can choose to log into the single lobby or the multi lobby when selecting a character. In the single lobby, other players will appear as patrollers in Kantan City. When you are in a team leader, you can use the recruit option or the, on the player info screen to have them assist you on parallel quests in exchange for Zenny. In the multi lobby, you can chat with players from around the world, form teams, engage in parallel quests, and participate in battles. Using the player info screen to form teams, add new friends, and join battles. You can only be logged into the multi lobby for three hours at a time, after which you will be automatically logged down. The game will notify you when your time is running out. Yikes. Your time patrol rank is displayed in the multi lobby. Time patrol ranks are reset each week and players will move up and down in the rankings. You can choose whether or not to display time patrol ranks above characters from the game setting screen in the lobby menu. You can improve your time patrol rank by winning battles without limitations or through challenges against other players in Canton City. You can make changes to how your time patrol rank is displayed with the change display name option on the game setting screen in the lobby menu. Your time patrol rank will not be displayed while playing offline. And team registration. At team registration in the reception area, you can form a team with a leader and up to two other members. Teams can participate in battles and parallel quests together. To accept a parallel quest or battle, the leader must accept it at the reception. Subsequently, the other members can join in that quest or battle only. Leaders can add a patroller to their team by going to a player's player info screen and choosing Start. Yeah. Scout while in the single, play, single lobby or Start team in the multi lobby. Fire a beacon by pressing up to see where you both are on the map. You, to remove a member from the team, go to the player's info screen and choose Start Kick. 
To leave a team, open the lobby menu and select X, leave team. If a leader wants to disband the team, they should choose X disband from the lobby menu. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay then. Well, that's it for this episode. Very short episode, but you know, we've got some more masters to learn from, so we'll be doing that in the next episode, and also taking that helping guru right there. So, join me in the next episode. If you like this video, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments what other games you want to see me play in the future. Subscribe for more videos, and you can also follow me on Twitter and join my personal Discord to chat to me live. Uh, links for them are on my channel, or you can ask for them in the comments and I'll happily post a link for you. But until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.